Hey guys, MTG Noob here, playing with the Jun deck. What else is new? Alright, we're gonna keep this a uh, little bit slow, but pretty good late game. Our opponent also keeps, so uh, let's throw down a tomb and pass. Want to get as much red as we can for Liana, so maybe we have three green sources for Garrick already. Um, we'd like to maybe get some other things going for her. Museum Mortar is definitely getting a red source now. Okay, for Seek. We have multiple black sources, but occasionally we need three black sources. So I can see getting a uh, a Blood Crypt here, actually, believe it or not, instead of anything else. We have almost all of our mana. We need one more red source to make this live. Next turn, I, I can't see how we don't play an Olivia and hopefully start taking over the game. The only reason not to play Olivia here is because we don't get any value out of it, but I think it's totally worth trying to get Olivia online. Now, if he has something like a Searing Spear, I'm going to feel pretty crappy about it that I didn't Olivia and shoot. I could have held Olivia till turn 6, but if he doesn't have a way to deal with her immediately, we're looking okay. I mean, we'll see if he does. He might just have a Mizium Mortars here, which is fine. You know, there's there's not much we can do about that, even if she grew. Okay, land, please. All right, that's a Garrick. That's not a land. Um, fortunately, we're stopped up for a turn here. We do have two pieces, of, three pieces of removal in hand. Um, getting anything online here would be really good. Um, unfortunately, if he's got, like, a Resto Angel here, getting Garrick online would be bad. Oh, interesting. He's playing black. Maybe for Lingering Souls or something of that nature. This might just be a Hunt Master. Okay, that's fine. Hunt Master, what are you going to do? Hunt Master! Ugh. Kind of not in a great spot here, especially if he does have a Resto Angel flip. He caught up pretty quickly. Um, we do have a ton of land in hand. Um, I could make this flip and kill it, but it's not going to be something I'm really interested in. Unfortunately, I think we're going to dread bore this. Just get it out of sight, out of mind. We really need to hit a land next turn. If we don't hit a land, we're pretty much in trouble. Maybe he's splashing for burial rights, which if he is, we might be having a little bit of a problem here. Burial rights is, is problematic for us. I might just use this Abrupt Decay at end step if he doesn't do anything. Um, assuming, like, next turn I might play the Garruk. I think I'd lead out with the Beast if possible. I don't know what he's got going. Hopefully it's something that this will kill more easily. Oh, jeez. That's a big old boy. Apparently getting to five mana never looked so difficult. I mean, I'd like to kill this now, but I mean, three for twoing myself, plus he gains five life isn't amazing. Um, I think I'm going to kill, kill his, no, I'm not going to waste my removal that easily. Wow, this is not going well. Uh, I can wait, but I think killing this stuff now is more than than fine. I know a, a lot of uh, times I'll, I'm been getting hung up over killing things. Um, however, the issue I've been having is playing against Restoration Angels. Like I don't want his Thrag Test to just kick my ass. Now, if he went um, Aurelia there, I would have just been done, like done for. So I could see why. But still, we really need to hit our fourth land. I, I don't know if we've hit any land since. wonder what the black is in for. Okay, Smiter, that's fine. There we go. All right. We can play Garrick, but a Garrick just gets his ass kicked, so... We'll play this fine young gentleman, and hopefully we'll rip a red source next turn and just blow things up. 
I think I'm going to take seven here. I don't think I'm going to trade out because Garrick drawing five cards is going to be pretty strong. It'll help us draw a red source. Okay, well now Garrick drawing three cards is, is a thing. Um, he could swing with both. This does somewhat change our plan. Um, however, I still think drawing either a red source or three cards is more than fine. We have Abrupt Decay to deal with this if we really need to. I have to assume at this point he's got Resto Angel. Uh, he's got five. I don't know what else he could have. Ugh, whatever this is. Oh, jeez. We really need a red source. All right, another Thrag Tusk isn't the worst. But we're going to have to start making some pretty bad blocks, I would say. I think we want a tusk here. Gain some life. Trade out. And we'll be blocking here on here and possibly there. He's down to one card, so two on his draw. If he stay, if we can stabilize off of this, then we're going to be really looking pretty good, I would say. Block there. Debating if I should take seven. I don't know if he has like bonfire the damned or anything of that nature. I almost want to keep this and play Garrick and draw five cards. Taking seven just really brutal. He might have like Angel of Serenity here. I'm just gonna block like this and take seven. Okay, we'll go to nine. Tragic slip's good. We can wipe his whole board here. I wonder if he has any way to remove this. Blow this up. three for one ourselves. If he has any way to remove this, we're just toasted. I mean, even Searing Spear just kicks the crap out of us here. We'd really love to get max value out of this, though. <sighs> so I'll really contingent on if he doesn't have Resto Angel. If he has Resto Angel, we're in trouble. We can most likely hold up a slip, but that's not going to do it. We're going to block and take nine exactly. So I can't do that. I'm just going to have to pass the turn and make some uncomfortable blocks here. We're giving him more turns to draw outs, which is unfortunate. But, we're seeing what we can do here. I mean, Garrick drawing five cards just leaves us dead to Restoration Angel. He's at 32. Ugh. Really want to make that live. I think we're just going to wait. Okay, I kind of hope this is Aurelia. green. Oh god, he might have a Garrick of his own. Oh shit. That is bad news for us. We do have a wolf run, but still. I should have pulled the trigger on our Garrick there. Okay, well, we're not going to let him draw a bunch of cards. Too bad we can't get rid of all of them. But at least he popped the, the trigger on his Garrick there. Went up to five cards. Just fine. Okay, he's going to far seek. Okay, I think we're going to be blocking and killing one. Oh wow, we got lucky there. I 
Alright, we're going to be drawing our own five cars now. I think we've caught a break. However, I think he's um, possibly setting up for some huge removal spell. I think we got to draw five cards here. We're probably dead to a lot. I'm probably very dead to a lot. I assume from five cards we'll be able to draw a red source. Jeez. That could have been brutal. Alright, well, if we survive this turn, we might be okay. I'm just hoping he doesn't have, like, a wolf run or something. He might be splashing for, like, Rakdos return or something. Okay, I'm going to be taking three in... Three definitely here. Definitely blocking. Definitely blocking. Okay, we need that <laughs> one extra red source. One extra red source. Or we need some more life gain. I mean, I don't see why we don't use that there. Okay. We can play this and almost be safe. I think we're going to return his hand. Uh, let's Rakdos return for three. Oh, let me not do it that way. This way, if he does play an angel... Oh no, Moto, don't crash on me! Don't crash, Moto! Okay, thank you. I don't want to tap both of my red sources here, like a dummy. Alright, let's leave this open. Sorry about that, guys. Let's tap this for red, this for black. One, two... Oh, it's because of Vira's here. Vira, nobody likes you. Please go away. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, Rakdos return for three cards. Oh, you're back, but nobody likes you. This way, if he decides to blink an Arresto Angel here, we can kill it with Amizium Mortars. That's fine. Hopefully he doesn't have two. That would be terrible for us. I mean, this way we're, like, dead to Aurelia, but, I mean, Rolling Templar, Mizium Mortars. Okay, I'm glad we didn't miss that oversight. Okay, one time, no Thundermaw, Zealous Conscripts, <laughs> Aurelia, land. Oh no, he's tapping mana. Red. Red. Oh, Reckoner. That is actually not fine. <sighs> poop on a poop stick. That's where we're at. That's an ex insanely excellent top deck. Let's see what our options are. We use two Abrupt Decays, one Treadbore, two Tragic Slips. We need to buy ourselves some time. Could see if he wants to just trade here. We take three. Yeah, one Oh, Mizium Mortars, why can't you deal three? <laughs> oh, Mizium Mortars, why can't you deal three? I guess we have to do this here. Hmm. I think we hang back, unfortunately. Ok, 
Okay, we're doing that. We're doing that. <clears throat> And we're probably going to one and dying. I mean, maybe I should have thinned my deck out. Oh, shit. Township, huh? We're dead. I mean, just... just nothing we could do about that. That, that was the... Two draws that apparently keep people in games. If we block, I mean, the only thing we could do here is block. Have to block. I'm assuming he grows this guy. I will. My guy. Uh, we'll poke my guy here. My guy's only dealing three, so we're at one. Wait, what the hell did he just do there? He just put me to one. Oh my god, he put me back in this game. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Well... We are not going to be doing anything but trying to win because we got lucky there. I'm going to be far seeking and leaving open. I mean, right now, outside of a reckoner, <clears throat> we kill almost anything. We're not going to be wolf running just yet. We're going to be doing this and getting all red sources. All of the red sources. And going to be doing this. Two, four, six. All of the red sources. I mean, if he draws a Reckoner, we're dead. I mean, that's just the way it is. Anything but a Reckoner is pretty much dead meat. Come on, life. Oh, that's good. That is good. Let's bash. We're still only going to make him take some damage. Okay, um, we don't pump there because I want to get my guy online and still leave up six dudes fortunately we are still dead to a top deck Aurelia which would be very bad okay he may still have a Celestia charm so I don't know if growing this is ideal. Um, I think leaving it as a 4-4 four, four is fine. Okay. Now I find it very hard for us to lose. With this tragic slip. We can also just steal anything that he sends our way. Um, no. Okay, Resto Angel here would be fine, but we can kill it. Alright, that's why you shouldn't give up. I'm sure I misplayed terribly. Wow, I don't know, do not know what the black is in his deck for, but jeez Louise, did we get lucky there. Um, on the draw, don't really like the Rakdos returns. Don't really know if I want these pillars for this tragic slip. Um, oof, woo, 
I do not know what his deck is. It's it's like Dark Naya. I guess we want Witch Banor, but it doesn't seem like too bad. I almost want these as card draw, but he seems like he's putting the early pressure on us. Um, pillars don't do as much as we want in this matchup. Anything to deal with uh, Reckoner is a good thing. I find like too many Mizium Mortars in this matchup is not very good. Since drawing them is pretty bad. Um, we can play no Rakdos returns. We're going to be on the draw. So I kind of feel like, I mean, this is with Underworld Connection. These are only good if if he has a slow start. And, you know, we don't want to be damaging ourselves. So I could see taking these out, although it is nice to try to keep up. Two Rakdos returns should be fine. You would think I would want this, but, like, when you're sitting across um, from a... Boros Reckoner and it's it's kicking the crab out of you and you can't kill it without taking four. That's somewhat frustrating. I could kind of see playing these, but I just think he's got a lot of dudes and these are probably going to be much better late game. Like, they'll be down here in the curve and I have so much more I'd want to do before that um, that I don't think taking mana is, is really that, that much worth it. It's not English, but you know what I mean. Alright, uh, I'm going to keep this. We have multiple ways to deal with uh, Boris Rackiner in hand, which for us is actually somewhat problematic. Okay, that's a no elf on one. is A-OK -okay by me. Within Cemetery, that's fine. Play a red source. Most likely we'll be killing stuff on our turn. I, could, I couldn't believe that Garrick play. I really did get lucky with that Garrick play, I'm not going to lie. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, it allows this a turn early, which is always nice. we got to start drawing some gas. We pretty much have as much mana as, as we need currently. Okay, maybe he's got Nada. So, Farseek. Okay. For a seek is not good. I really don't like tra uh, trading two for ones on Thrag Tusks. Um, if only there was a way. Maybe we should have brought in Witch Bane Orbs. Uh, I'll see as we move forward if that's the case. If that's where we really wanted to be at. Okay, we'll play Huntmaster here. We gotta draw some gas. I mean, things look good. Um, getting on Master down a turn early is awesome, but look, he's already up to five men on his turn. And, you know, if he, like, throws an Acidic Slime our way or some sort of problematic thing that we're going to have trouble dealing with, that's a Reckoner, that's pretty awesome. I could deal with that in multiple, multiple ways. Okay, I'm going to be killing that on our turn and bashing for five. Assuming he doesn't have anything himself, like an abrupt decay or a tragic slip. Okay, we could have left up mana for an abrupt decay, but I didn't want to do that. I don't want to take extra damage off of my lands if I don't have to. That's been one of the areas of play I've been really trying to work on. Hopefully this isn't Aurelia. I know I've been like tunnel visioning Aurelia, but she is a beating and a half. Maybe this is Rakdos return. Mizium Mortars, that blows us the F out, okay. I mean now we have a game unfortunately. But I can't play around that, so there's no like I mean I I really only lost it was a two for one. It's just now I'm sitting here with like crappy removal spells in hand. Maybe I should have brought it boarded in acidic slimes. Okay, that's no longer a crappy removal spell. That's a good dude. That's a good dude right there. See how he mans up. Hopefully he doesn't play an angel here. Angel's a little bit problematic for us. Double. Yuck. Okay, bash. Okay, he's at 10. That's pretty good. It's a good place for us to have him. Uh, well, here's something. 
Hunt Master. Something worse. What the hell is this? Rakdos return? Don't know what this is. This looks like a Rakdos return. Oh, the Rag Desk. That's annoying. That definitely changes things up. Especially since his can get bigger. The fact that he doesn't play a land there, though, makes me assume that he does not have a Resto Angel. Something good? Or an Overgrown Tomb. Kind of sucks. Um, he's got two dudes left. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to blow a Dread Boar here. And then an Abrupt Decay. I don't really like that. But I, I feel that we're in a spot where we can't really profitably trade with anything he's doing. So, I'm going to have to two for one myself starting here. He's going to get a token. Now, I honestly can't tell you which is better here to have. I think the slip is more versatile, but Abrupt Decay kills Reckoner. And currently where we're at, Reckoner kicks the crap out of us. I, I got to hope his last two cards, technically three cards, aren't really good. Because the Thrag Tusk there off the top was amazing. Like, if he has, like, a Garruk here, I can kill it, which isn't the worst, but if he has anything else, we're in trouble. Oh, that's very good. Uh, we're going to do it for the full five cards. Hope one of his cards is not an angel. We should have just done it for six. I don't know why I do that, guys. I mean, I should have just put him to four. Like, there's no reason. Like, I was pretending I had a tragic slip. I did. I didn't have a tragic slip. I should have just went all in, hit him down to four, and then boom, Thrag Tusk, and smash for win. All right, so we got kind of lucky there. Towards that first match was great but we got lucky as always has been the mtg noob uh please let me know what you think of my play obviously if it's crappy let me know and let me know it really how it doesn't help if you just say you made a misplay what really helps if you're still listening to this which i do read all the comments i honestly don't have time to respond and i apologize for that um it helps if you point out like a certain time or you should have done this better or that better that really does help me and i appreciate that Thanks for watching. Please check out the mtgnoob.com.